What's going on guys, it's David here. And today I thought I would do something a little bit different. Uh, instead of doing a review, I've been kind of putting off talking about a lot of what's going on with CrossFit HQ, but my mind has been festering. Um, and so I thought I would put together my theory on what's going on with CrossFit HQ, as well as the future of the CrossFit games, and if you should even do the 2019 CrossFit Open. Uh, also, do me a favor, guys, and if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like and that subscribe button because that lets me know I'm creating the kind of content that you guys want to see. So if you guys have been paying attention at all in the news of the world of CrossFit, then you know that there has been tons of mass layoffs. There's been tons of just restructuring. There's just been a ton of things going on that have been kind of leaving people in a sense of confusion, a little bit of frustration, and it's it's all well understood as far as why you feel the way that you feel. When I first got into the world of CrossFit, I was very much so about the life. I, I still do to this day definitely believe in the message that CrossFit is um, trying to advocate for as far as improving people's health through basic concepts of, of, of fitness and testing those basic concepts of fitness over time and providing measurable, trackable ways of improving people's health and nutrition. But I think it's safe to say that the CrossFit that we knew is no longer the CrossFit that we should expect going forward in 2019 as well as in the years to come. And, and here is probably two main reasons why we should expect everything is going to be different uh, in regards to the CrossFit that we knew. And the first part, as you guys, again, some of you guys may or may not know, but there's just been a ton of layoffs that have taken place at HQ key critical people that played a big part in everything as far as media creation which i don't think a lot of people realize that the content side of crossfit plays a very big part in the success of crossfit they have just been really good at telling stories and they've been telling stories just time and time again but if you have been paying attention to the journal you will actually notice that there have not been any stories as of this year actually the last story or news that has been placed on the crossfit journal was back on december 24th and since then we haven't had anything new with the open being today as you guys are watching this video um i'm not sure how content is going to be created at crossfit especially given the fact that most of those people are no longer there um, maybe they will be doing things on contract but with the viewing of the open i don't even know how that's going to be taking place because there's nobody on staff as far as the media team goes that's going to be filming or producing um, the content that is taking place so maybe it'll be the case where it might be a little bit more old school it might be janky where um, the people that run the social media accounts maybe they'll just have phone cameras or maybe they'll just have DSLRs and kind of film the experience who knows um, maybe it'll be on Facebook live I haven't really been paying attention to that just because with everything going on it's just kind of left a bad taste in my mouth but that is reason number one why things are probably not going to be the same. Now, another big uh, key indicator that uh, I think it's safe to say that CrossFit won't be the same is that uh, we don't have Nano 9s. Um, it's February 2019, and there's no hint, there's no um, clues or inklings of what the Nano 9 will look like. Reebok hasn't hinted at anything. I haven't really been seeing anything on any of the pages. Um, or nothing really coming in my feed in regards to to um, behind the scenes looks or anything like that. I do remember, I think it was a few months ago, I commented on one of Joel um, from as many reviews as possible. I commented on one of his videos and he mentioned that he is testing the Nano 9s, but I don't even know if those shoes are gonna be released um, because if they were going to be released, they would have been released now because typically at the games, there will be like limited edition colorways that they would be releasing um, specifically for the games. But again, we don't really know what's going on with that. So um, it's, it's questionable because if there's not gonna be any more shoes that Reebok is producing, they're on contract um, as title sponsor until 2020. So 
whether or not they're going to be producing shoes is kind of weird because they are essentially the footwear official footwear of crossfit um so i guess we'll kind of see what kind of happens with that but i think it's safe to say that um things just they're just not going to be the same but i've got two theories also in regards to um why greg glassman might be doing what it is that he's doing now this whole theory i believe actually stems off of the idea that i believe that greg glassman is actually trying to get out of contractual agreements with reebok now, I don't know if you guys remember this, but back in 2015, uh, Greg Glassman did it, an interview with 60 Minutes about CrossFit. And in that interview, he actually mentioned a reference that he does believe that Adidas should sell Reebok to somebody who is a lot more um, youthful, young, um, has more fresh ideas. And so given that circumstances that circumstance along with the fact that back in august uh reebok and crossfit actually had a settlement due to a dispute that arose from the fact that uh greg glassman crossfit hq had felt that reebok had actually manipulated numbers on sales and actually ended up owing crossfit somewhere between the ballpark number of around four million dollars um in regards to losses as a result to the contractual agreement that they have had over the last some odd years but it still gets a little tricky because of the fact that there was a settlement that took place um, i can't remember the exact number as far as um the amount that they settled for but reebok is still the title sponsor until 2020 so now we have this weird awkward relationship where it's almost like you and your girlfriend both know that you guys don't like each other but you kind of end up staying with each other because you kind of have have been comfortable but then the boyfriend decides that he's going to do something really stupid to screw things up and then put him in a position to where it'll force the girlfriend to break up with him it's a weird theory i know but it's the only thing that i think actually really makes sense of what's actually taking place with crossfit at the moment now there's only two things that i think that are going to kind of spawn out two scenarios that might spawn out of what's actually taking place now so the first one being that greg glassman actually doesn't really care about um, the games he doesn't actually really care about the future of of high level athletes and he really wants to double down on crossfit health and focus on doctors and everything that's going on with that which he's more than than and than allowed to do that being the ceo of crossfit it's his company um it is a little weird um in this instance greg glassman has every right to decide to um push towards this weird future of crossfit even though he's always preached that um the only way or the the the, f the most effective way to cure you know sicknesses and disease and health and all these different things is to to push towards being fit uh, as fit as possible and on that spectrum he has does this whole diagram but essentially on that that pathway to becoming fit uh, we become healthy um, and we we are able to fight diseases and sickness and things of those nature are better so that's that theory of what could be a potential outcome and the last scenario that could be a potentiality of what takes place is that uh, as i originally stated um, he's trying to get out of contractual agreements and possibly uh, position crossfit to um, to sell the title sponsorship spot to another company maybe it's nike maybe it's under armor maybe it's whatever the the company may be and and maybe they are potentially putting something down on the table and saying hey we can provide something better but you need to do xyz and if you know for example companies like nike they tend to be willing to pay fines for athletes that they find are are very valuable to their establishment they've done been doing that for years initially when they first started out with their the very first runners that they had sponsored um they had paid fines 
time and time again for athletes to do certain things to um, put Nike on the map in that sport. And Nike has been kind of the giant that has been wanting to have their hands in the sport of CrossFit, but they have just not been able to because of a lot of the different contractual situ agreements that CrossFit has had specifically with Reebok. Reebok being the title sponsor means that people can't have Nike or wear Nike shoes at events. But now with the situation that plays out, um, with all these different events that are taking place that are all being handled by different organizations and media outlets and, you know, different gyms and sanctionals, all these different things. Now athletes can actually wear Nike. They can wear Under Armour. They can wear whatever it is that they want to wear to these events. And it, it does, it almost doesn't matter about the title sponsorship contract that Reebok has with, uh, CrossFit. And so at the games, that's the only really place that it matters um, that Reebok really has a hold on CrossFit. And so Reebok can really say now, hey, we only want Reebok worn at the games. But again, if CrossFit puts itself in a position to where you know, it looks like Greg Glassman is making these really stupid decisions and the company is just looks like it's not really going anywhere, it may push Reebok to want to also back out of the situation and say, hey, you're not living up to your end of the agreement. Let's just call it quits. We'll move on our, our separate ways. And that would allow Nike to come in, sponsor, become title sponsor for the CrossFit Games and essentially kind of take over where Greg Glassman thought that Reebok should be going. That's my idea. Is it a stretch? Yes. Is it a possibility? It, it definitely is possible that Greg Glassman can be trying to sell the company. Who knows? I don't know. These are just my thoughts. Um, I thought I would share them with you guys because they've been kind of festering in my mind. I saw Arm and Hammer uh, made a comment this morning or yesterday morning on Twitter. And uh, that was just kind of my theory on the situation. So, hey, I thought, you know, why not get behind the camera and share with you guys what I'm thinking? So, guys, do me a favor and down below, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on what's going on with CrossFit, with all the different layouts, with the decisions that, that Greg Glassman is making. I'd love to hear from you, from you guys and continue to have this conversation down there. Also, if you guys haven't done so, make sure to listen to the podcast. Um, I had a, a stellar time with Tommy Marquez, former HQ uh, producer and analyst for the update show now on Talking Elite Fitness, um, as well as the Inside Elite Fitness show that just launched uh, with Sean Woodland, as well as Tommy Marquez. Um, the full one hour podcast is on this channel, as well as I dropped um, a, uh, a, a version for Spotify as well. So if you like listening to podcasts as opposed to watching them, you have that option as well. So guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Make sure to hit all the links down below as usual, guys. And as I close out every single video, may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black. This is David. And hopefully you guys have a great 2019 open season. I see you guys in the next one. Peace.